It's the middle of the night and I'm here at Stonehenge for a rather special event, the Summer Solstice Festival. Summer Solstice 2016! Every year, thousands flock to Stonehenge to watch the sun rise over these prehistoric stones, a spectacle that marks the start of summer. People arrive from all corners of the earth to join in the celebrations. I'm a pagan priestess from Kent. Paganism effectively is nature-based um, worship. So you worship the quarters, which are north, south, east and west. You worship the elements represented by those. Oh, we're from North Carolina. We're really country. So did you come down here just for Stonehenge? Just for Stonehenge, yeah. just for summer solstice. We wanted to experience something in bucket list. This is our bucket <laughs> list. It's just about everyone being here, no matter what religion you are, no matter what your reason is for being here, it's the total inclusiveness of it all. We've just a couple of hours to go before the sun rises. The excitement is really starting to build up. For a lot of people, tonight is their first summer solstice festival. I imagined it to be really, really great, but nowhere near as great as no, this. This no, is just no, like electric. No. We both have discovered we have totally re-energized just by Definitely. being part of Definitely. Stonehenge Festival. The energy here has been incredible throughout the night, but dawn is fast approaching. With just minutes to go, the crowd surround the famous stones and watch as the sun slowly rises above the horizon. So there it is. Yesterday was the longest day of the year and that means summer has officially started. And what better way to see the season in than by watching the sun rise with thousands of other people right here at Stonehenge. I think uh, she had a good time. She I has lost her she voice, did. hasn't she? She did. That is beautiful. Nature definitely does it best.